very good morning my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new live trading video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking so I wanted to share with you what's going on so far in the premium forex group and as you can see we are having very good days and uh, thankfully uh, Monday was very successful day as you can see lots of profits with of course a small tiny losses here and there however the profits of course are much bigger than the losses however and as part of being very honest and transparent with everyone to the public we wanted to share that Tuesday was not a good day as you can see we faced losses there and that we did our best to close any actually we closed all of the signals before reaching any stop loss as you can see 10 pips of loss 9 pips of loss 28 27 so we did our best and also we have apologized to our members for the bad day however we promised them that tomorrow we are going to recover the losses and that is what we have done exactly we are back on Wednesday as you can see lots of profits lots of greens and we have recovered all of the losses happened on Tuesday and thankfully we have come up with a lot of profits and as you can see we have made more than 280 pips of profit only yesterday and as you can see of course from the free group we have received tons of messages look at all these messages that we have received from the members thankfully all of them are happy and very glad for the experience as you can see uh, thanks for today's signals uh, this guy here he sent us really nice messages about our signals and he's happy of course and yes we smashed all day and here as well we can see uh, good day almost recovered yesterday's losses thanks and I recovered yesterday with some profit as well this is what we do at Extreme Trader. We are showing the reality of Forex that sometimes you you might have some bad days. But however, as a trader, you can always recover and make profits. That's what you do as a trader. So, yes, indeed, we are doing very well and I'm very happy for that. And yes, if you wish to join Extreme Trader Forex Signals Group, please contact Angela. You can find her contact details in the description below this video. Contact her today and hopefully we will see you there. All right, so let's now begin the live trading session. And of course, I wanted to highlight also that some of my signals from the midweek analysis are now active. Euro UST is right now in uh, six uh, pips of profit. Uh, gold has been activated already, and right now it's in 43 pips of profit. Um, I think USD CAD also has went uh, in the loss of inside the safe zone for almost 38 pips and now it's reversing exactly as i told you remember this trend line here i have drawn here exactly the pair is now inside the safe zone and it has reversed exactly inside the uh, safe zone and it reversed at the resistance trend line and seems like it's going to continue the fall perfect so let's now go back to the current trade now let me tell you that today we are going to use the 20 pips a day strategy for our trades and of course if you don't know the strategy let me show you which video to watch first so here's my channel on youtube please refer to this video which i have uploaded four months four months ago uh, the best forex strategy how to make 20 pips every day I of course I of course have explained the strategy in brief there and you can refer to that video to understand what kind of strategy I'm about to use if in case you are a new subscriber or a follower to the channel um, I'm just looking here and there to find some decent setup and from what I can see that the pound seems all right to be short right now uh, I'm focusing actually on the pound AUD right now let me explain to you something so by looking at the pound AUD, we can notice that recently the pair has actually on the 4 hour time frame has created this strong bearish candle. Meaning the pair has just reversed on a resistance. Let's look at, le at the left to find if this was a resistance level in the past or not. So let me just scroll back and see in the left. Oh, sorry, at the left. And sure enough, we can see it was a strong support in the past. Let's continue scrolling. Delete the other one so we will not get confused and keep scrolling it was also a support as i said it was almost here a resistance just 17 pips away from far from it and here it is look at that we can see that here the, the same level was actually a strong key resistance level and it was also a support therefore that level is a strong and let's go back to the current time so we can tell that the pair has just reversed from that resistance meaning we can expect now the pair to continue the fall all the way until it hit that support level right there 
as I said before, the reversal has happened, just happened here, and we can expect from the pair to continue the fall until the support level. Of course, on the bigger time frame, on the four hour time frame, we can apply the rules of 20 pips, of course. And as I said, since the pair has reversed here, now we can expect the pair, the pair to continue the fall until it hit the nearest support or resistance to the resistance. Now, the nearest support for that resistance is exactly this one. The nearest one after this one is this one as well. So therefore, we can we can expect from the pound AUD to continue the fall. Now, since we have analyzed on the four hour time frame that the pair seems like it's gonna fall, let's now move to the smaller time frame to decide our entry. So I'm gonna go to the 15 minute time frame and there I'm going to decide if I should place, uh, or sorry, where should I place the sell order. Now, it's uh, very obvious for me that the pair is gonna continue the fall right away after the rejection has happened from that resistance right there and that price action here of course is very clear indicating that the pair seems like it's, like it's going to continue the fall therefore i'm going to place sell order right now actually i regret uh, not <laughs> not uh, changing the lot size uh, 0 0.70 on not a perfect entry is not really my style however um things should be fine anyway let's see what will gonna happen i mean even if the pair gonna go against me it cannot go more than 15 pips as maximum and then it's going to continue the fall not to mention of course that we are having right here on the 15 minute time frame a bearish trend line like that and the pair seems like it's going to continue the fall immediately now one of the things why i really like to trade uh, the pound is of course it gives you a lot of profits easily because look at that since i'm aiming 20 pips right now I can get 20 pips just like this if the pair has actually fallen just to this level here eh, make it 20 20 pips I think right mm. all right that is 20 pips and of course on the 15 minute time frame we need to apply exactly the same rules so we have a, we have placed our sell order exactly at that resistance level therefore our target or take profit level should be the nearest support to my entry and of course in this scenario the nearest support to my entry is that support level right here therefore uh, that entry is good and I'm gonna stick to it and what I'm going to do next is set a stop loss just a little bit above that resistance zone uh, which I have drawn here and again I'm relying really on the resistance trend line this one here it seems like the pair is gonna continue the fall now uh, the trade is going in profit and I just wanted to remind everyone that we have used the 4 hour time frame to decide the target and then on the, 50, on the 15 minute time frame we decided where we should place our trade my entry is late I'm telling you this my entry is a bit late and after seeing these two candles right there especially the spin bar and seeing that my entry is late but still I think I'm gonna make some good profit out of this one here even if I have a late entry um, the entry is valid and seems like it's gonna be a good trade let's now move to another pair and I think honestly all of the pound pairs are gonna continue the fall right away uh, pound GP GPY seems interesting uh, the same thing we can see here on the pound GPY pound GPY has actually made the reverse on that resistance level as we can see here and therefore this price action many of you already know that this one is good indicator for a bearish reversal so uh, since we can see on the four hour time frame that the pair seems like it's going to continue the fall let's see where we can expect the target to be is so now we have placed our thread right here on the resistance so where is the target the target of course is going to be right here on that support right here one second guys right here that is a support how do you know that this is a support seller why do you say it's a support because of course if we look at the left we can see here it was a strong support level and also not to mention it was here a resistance then reading the candles we can see that this was here a rising candle it was actually rising above the resistance and this was the bullish breakout candle it was actually uh, uh, not this one sorry what i'm talking about this was the bullish breakout candle which was also a support number one because the resistance level is exactly right here and we can see that here we are having two weeks indicating support number one and seems like the pair is going to continue the fall to hit support number two i'm looking at the losses right now but don't worry 
everything should be fine uh, that's actually a good practice let's go now to the 15 minute time frame to decide if we should place the sell order right here or not and of course yes definitely yes definitely yes um let me please explain the reason and uh, that is actually not a late entry that's a perfect perfect entry the reason is if we look here at the left we can see that here we are on the highest top level of that key resistance level that is exactly the entry that i'm seeking if we look at this pattern sadly we need to zoom out we can see that here we had the key resistance level the pair has actually reversed exactly at that point and again by moving to the future or what happened later we can see that here we are on the highest top level of that pattern that means this is the highest level of the resistance it is the highest level and therefore the pair is definitely going to start <coughs> the fall right now and as you can see yes that was actually a really perfect entry that is the, the entry that i was seeking and we actually have uh, recovered any potential losses from the from the late entry on the pound aud right now let's set the take profit level which is of course going to be 20 pips as well and look at that this is interesting let me show you now the pound jpy since i have placed my trade right here at that resistance i should of course exit my trade at the nearest support or resistance right and of course where is the nearest support of my entry is the only one right here now sadly that support level is only 13 pips far away from my entry so therefore i cannot really take 30 uh, i cannot take 20 pips uh, as a profit from this trade unfortunately what i can do in this case if i want if i'm greedy i can open another trade however i'm not gonna do it but i'm telling you sometimes if you want to get 20 pips uh, per day from one single trade and you can see the, such setup like that where the pair actually giving you only 13 pips what you can do is open two trades just multiply it open it again duplicate it and then you can actually get 26 pips instead of 13 so uh let me just set the stop loss for the first for the pound gpy just gonna be right there and here goes our first two trades and things are going well we are already going in the profit i'm very happy for that uh let me now please pause the recording and i'll be back to you later to show you what will gonna happen with these two trades and once we close them with the profit i think maybe <clears throat> there is even no need to pause the video uh the candles are moving fast right now and we are having some good profits out of them anyway uh just to save your time let me please now pause the recording uh, the candle is falling guys i'm very happy to see that such uh, profits coming very quickly uh, we are making right now almost $80 of profit. Fantastic. Very nice. Yeah, okay. Final. Let's now pause the recording and I'll be back to you shortly. And yes, my friends, we are entertaining some really big profits right here. Uh, $100 has been made already from these two trades. And for the pound GPY, it's already going so far in almost 12 pips of profit. And it's going to hit the take profit level. And come on, come on. Yes. I like to see the take profit level hidden and I don't have to close the trade automatically. However, I'm not a greedy person and so yes, sometimes I do it and just to be safe. But however, I'm really happy today. I don't know why. I'm just happy today. Really happy. Maybe it's about our results in the premium group and the fact that we have recovered uh, any potential losses and actually we have fulfilled our promise to, other, to the members. Anyway, uh, things going well and we have made easy money quickly and so far the account is a thousand uh, dollars um let's try to find some other setups uh, until this trade expire and allow me now to, to pause the recording until i find another decent setup my friends all right let me tell you something very interesting what we can see right now actually i'm going to place the trade right now so we are back to the pound jpy now let me explain the reason as you can see, the pair has actually made the pullback after reversing on that previous support level. And by the way, please notice the perfect uh, take profit level that I have made here that we knew or not knew. I cannot say new, but we can expect we, we have expected from the pair to reverse at that previous support level. That's the real power of my strategy, because I told you that the pair is going to continue the fall until it hit the nearest support or resistance. And I said many times that we really don't care what will going to happen later, if it's going to reverse or if it's going to continue falling. We don't care as long as we had taken our profit. Now, however, 
what is happening right now is the pair has reversed and right now it's again visiting the same resistance level we have entered our trade in the first place now looking at the four hour time frame it's again confirming to me that the, the pair is falling nothing happened nothing changed what we what we did right now is entering the same trade again really why not i mean I don't think there is anything wrong with that and that is exactly actually that is one of the ways I love to trade uh, on daily tra on, on daily trading basis that is what I really like to do when I see a trade uh, reversed exactly at my take profit level and it went back all the way to the same entry I have entered earlier I mean why don't you just enter it again since on the bigger time frame it says or it, con it confirms that the pair is going to continue the fall Anyway, this is exact, exactly what I have done right now, and I have entered the sell for the pound GPY again. So, now, in this video so far, we have opened three trades. I don't think we're going to open more than that. We need now to pause the recording, and I'll be back to you later to show you what will going to happen with the, with the remaining two trades, or the remaining two running trades. And yes, again, my friends, we are in the profits of almost hundred dollars. And if we look here at the pound AUD, pound AUD has reversed exactly as where I have pointed at with that resistance trend line. As you can see, the pair has respected that resistance trend line. It went up against my direction. However, it reversed exactly at that resistance trend line. So now the pair is now falling. Allow me now to show you why I want to close close the trade right here. Um, if you notice here, my friends, I need to close the trade right now like that perfect so i have to explain to you why did i close it um of course i have explained many times on my videos that the right way to draw the support line when you want to be very specific and having a good entry or a good target you need actually to draw your support or resistance trend line in the right way so what we are having right here is a support so now if i tell you to set your take profit exactly at that support level where exactly are you going to place your 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 uh, the the take profit line are you going to make it here like that at the lowest body of the candle or are you going to make it like this or are you going to make it at the lowest level of the support which one of these three is correct the answer of course is the second one why the second one sala all right let me show you the second one is because it's touching all of the wicks on that support uh, 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 pattern or, or, or in, in the in the pattern of the support it's touching all of the tails of that support here we can see that this line i have drawn here uh, it's touching this uh, tail and this and this and this and this if you draw your support trend line, if you if you draw your support like that you are actually not drawing it in the accurate way because you are missing touching these other two uh, four wicks or four tails so, so therefore i believe that the pair is actually going to start reversing from that point in normal cases it's going to start reversing exactly from that level where i have drawn my support and my uh, my line my support line but of, of course we can see right now it is continuing the fall so i just wanted to be safe i just didn't want to uh, miss any pips because there was a chance that the pair actually might uh, reverse and go up and one of my trading style is to be safe always and that's why actually um i decided to close the trade right now let's look now at the pound jpy as you as you remember we have re-entered again the pound jpy trade and again we are in the profit so far is going in 10 pips of profit 64 dollars uh i think that should be enough i mean <clears throat> i'm really happy with the profits that i have made in this video and i think i'm gonna continue trading tonight 60 dollars i'm gonna take it that's fine yes i know guys i didn't wait for it to take the take profit level but however i'm just happy because i'm i made a good amount uh just uh, uh, scalping uh, the market in this video on this live trading session actually speaking i need to stop trading right now and i'm gonna resume trading i think um, i think after two hours which is 7 p.m um or 7 uh, sorry 8 p.m uh, dubai time at night i'm gonna resume trading therefore i decided that it's time now to, to stop uh, the trading so therefore 
uh, there goes the live trading session for this week and i will see you guys hopefully by the next week on the weekly analysis video hopefully our analysis is gonna still be uh, good and everyone will make some good profits out of it so until then i hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching